Now today we are going to work on the update part of it. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, what we're going to do is to keep a button. So I'm going to keep a button under each of these informations you see here. And then we have a button here to update. So that button, when we click on it, should take us to another page where we can see the exact values we have here and then update it. Okay. So let us get down to our code and see what we've done so far. Okay. Now, if you look at this here, this is the code that we have used in our first, second, and third in our second and third uh, tutorial. Okay. Here, what we did here was to establish connection. We we set up our connection variables. We establish the connection, and we check to see if a user have actually submitted the form, which is this form here. And if so, we insert the stuff, we retrieve the information from the form and we insert into the database. And this is our HTML documentation. We just used an internal CSS here to style our page and uh, we have uh, our form here which we created to collect the information from the user. Okay. Then after the form, we had another PHP and the uh, HTML codes here which we use to query the data from the database okay so that's the code we use to query data from the database and display it in this HTML element here and that is what gave us this of that form we have this. So now let us visit our code where we'll be working on this time around inside this code alone is here because we are going to create another file for the update. So under this we are going to have a button. If you look at this we used paragraph to display these things. So I'm going to this time around have another paragraph here where I'm going to now use my button okay now we are going to just use an anchor for this we're going to use an anchor for this and we can start it to be a button alright or we can just place a button inside an anchor but it's better we use anchor so here we have our anchor href we are going to link this uh, action to a page we're going to link it to a page called updates or let's say book underscore updates dot php we have not created this form yet we have not created this page yet so let's just put the name here and then when submitting when linking to this database we need to also obtain the id of the book we want to update okay so how do we get the ID of the book we want to update remember when we were fetching our record we tried to get what everything here we tried to get everything here from the database okay so I'm going to also do something like this this is a URL variable this is how you set a URL variable using your PHP using your link so we have uh, id let's say bk underscore id to be equal to we open our php code here and echo out okay so i'm going to echo out uh the book id now book id because this is the primary key and uh, it uniquely identifies every book in the table so we use it okay so that is the link where we want to send the stuff to all right we give it a title we give it a title of 
update this record. Okay, I just put update. All right, we can decide to give it a class name. It's here. Yeah. ETN update in case you want to style it alright so I don't haven't put this now let us see what it looks like if I should refresh my page you see an update okay good and if you look at my link if you look at my link you notice that if you look at my link below you notice that I have localhost my tutorials book update.php book ID equal to 8. That is to say that this guy here has an ID of 8. And if you look at this, this is 7. That's to say that I can click on this to get some things, right? Good. Now, let us uh, let us go back to the page and create the update so here I'm going to create my book update.php new file we we'll call it book underscore update.php okay so keep it here All right no let us see what happens here I'll quickly just uh, Copy this. Down to body here. And then paste it here. So I have a uniform design. Okay. Alright. So. Okay. Then I need to also create a form where I can actually do the updates. All right. So let us come down to our books here. All right. This is the form. We are going to work on this form. We are using this same table, but we are going to work on it now. So just copy this. All we do is very simple. Okay, so in my body here, I'll put this thing here just to see what we have done so far. If I click on update, it takes me to book update.php. You can see the link here. All right, and this is book registration form. But we are going to do some changes this time around. So, in my books update, call it books updates. Books updates. Okay. Now, there's just one more thing we are going to do here. And what is that? Simply take our connections. Again. Okay, alright. We take our connection, copy the connection, and put it down here above the page. Open our PHP as usual. Open our PHP as usual. And paste our code. Alright. So, having done this, we can actually perform other tasks. Alright. Okay. Now, let us look at this. The next thing we are going to do now is to fetch some record. Alright. We are going to fetch some records 
this time around if you look at here it's still the same query we are going to run but a different query altogether now if you look at this here what we did was to select all from books and order it by rage day this time around we won't be selecting everything okay all right so let's just copy let's just come down here and do the normal thing now what i'm going to do here is simple remember we have uh, remember from our link from the book where we left off the link has a url variable called bk underscore id all right and the bk underscore id has a dynamic value which is just the value of the particular book so i'm going to use the get method to obtain this variable in our book update so in my php code here i will simply do something and what should that be just obtain my gate even my gate where i can just say if to be sure that we got the stuff all right to be sure that the book id is set up in our url so we are going to use the if is set to avoid any error so if is set dollar sign underscore gate dollar sign underscore gate book bk underscore id then we'll do something here dollar sign book id what did you say dollar sign id equals to dollar sign underscore get book id now that we've gotten the book id what next are we going to do the final step that we're going to do let us be sure that we got this so let us try to echo out echo book id equals dollar sign id let us be sure that we got what we are looking for so i'll just come down here let me update this guy oh there is an error on line 2 and the error on line 2 is this we did not close this all right we didn't close so refresh use of undefined constant dollar sign underscore get oh sorry i didn't put dollar sign okay so book id equal to seven let us try another one again let's try to update twinkle twinkle book id equal to three so we have set we are good to go it means that we are getting the book id so delete this code here now let us try to prepare our sql this one around what we're going to do is to say the last sign sql will be equal to uh we'll just put select all select all from select all from books where book underscore id is equal to dollar sign in quotes dollar sign id okay so this is supposed to give us just one record by default we don't need to limit anything because it's a unique identifier so right here we are now going to execute so dollar sign execution is equal to or uh, as a dollar sign result let's execute it execute equal to my sqli underscore query 
dollar sign con and dollar sign sql no let's be sure that our query is correct so i'll say if dollar sign exec if dollar sign exec that is to say if our if the query successful then what are we going to do we are going to fetch the record so if the query is successful all we need to do is to obtain the record now from the query so we are going to have another variable here now let's say dollar sign record to be equal to my SQLI underscore fetch underscore asoc. All right, dollar sign exec. Else, that means if something is wrong, just give us, just echo us an error message for us. Um, error occurred. Error in query concatenate with the actual query so we're gonna have my sqli underscore error dollar sign con okay and that is just all we need for now so now that we have gotten these stuff here the next thing is to just echo out those things in our in our form here so here we have the book title we have our input we are going to just give it a value here okay so let's just give it a value value we open a php here and echo out dollar sign record uh, book underscore title close our php okay then we come to the book author here you also give it you also give it a value you open a php echo outer sign record book underscore author and we close it there number of pages something goes here value we have echo out dollar sign on record num of pages we close our php always remember that what i am echoing out here is the field names we have in our database all right in our database we have uh, the book ID, book title, book author, number of pages, and these are just this is just what I needed. Okay, this is just what I need. So, having done this, I can also have a hidden input to keep my ID in case of submission. So, I'm going to just come here on top of this form here. It's simple. Just give my input type equal to hidden. This input will not be seen. Okay, then value we give it a uh, value PHP echo dollar sign record book ID. Okay, then we give it a name as well. And what do we give it? We give it bk underscore id. And we close. So, when we are submitting the form, three, four fields will be submitted. The input, the hidden input, which is containing the value of the book id, the book title itself, the book author and the number of pages all right so let us see 
Now here we can have uh, instead of the clear fields, we have resets. All right. Now let us come back and try something else again. Now this is update, right? This is basic knowledge about prayer. Click on it. We're having an error on line eight and say syntax error. Correct. So let's see on line eight of our book update. On line eight we have uh, this space. So refresh again on the find variable con on line six. Okay. We have this here. Okay. Now this happened because we are executing we are writing a code at the wrong position. So for us to actually execute this thing now we can just take we can simply take this guy down. Take it here. Cut it off. Give me a control X and then we have already established connection. So after the after establishing connection before we can now query our data base. Okay. And then we paste. Alright. So you notice something here. There's just one different let us verify that it is working now. You see having some errors on the find variable press and con online twenty. Okay, double N. I'll push it there again, but I want to be messed to LI online 20 or so. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, notice that we have basic knowledge about prayer. Remember, Father Vitalis 68. Let's go back. We are going to put a back button here if you want, or just use this browser. Okay, small business. Okay, Tinkle Tinkle Little Star is updated. Tinkle Tinkle Little Star press on do this. Okay, everything is working out right. Back in our code, notice something there's just only small difference in our query here. Remember, in our books, when we wanted to get uh, the list of books we have in the database, we queried for all the books and we ordered by which date in descending order. Here, there is no where clause, meaning we are fetching everything in the database. We want everything to come out now in this our uh, book update here we are looking for a particular book record which is the one we want to update so we had to put this where clause for us to actually restrict our search in the database this is called restriction so here we just restricted our search to only where a book id is equal to the particular book id we want to update so, meaning that we are just going to have one particular record. We are no longer fetching all the records any longer. But just one record. Alright? Okay. So, now that we have gotten this now, the next thing we are going to do will be to submit this guy. Submit the form and... Let's just change this submit button to update. Okay. Update. Okay. Now that we have this uh, we can just click to submit our stuff but this time around our query is going to be different okay now if you look at our books here when we are submitting the the record we did something and what was that thing we did the first thing we did was to shake and be sure that the user has actually submitted the form and that is exactly what we're going to still do now to be to retrieve all these things from here and from the form and then finally we prepare the query to insert so what i'm going to do now i'll have to copy this code here to save our time okay and then copy this to and copy this down to here then we will edit it so you will see what I mean. It's just a simple difference. Now <coughs> we have this here. 
this is where our our book stuff is right this is where we did our connection and this is where we created our database now we can decide to place this code anywhere after this our database connection has been established you can decide to place it under here or at the top here at the middle here okay so i prefer i keep it here so what i'm going to do is simple now if i don't want to execute this thing here i can decide to put it in a, in another page but i like to process within the same page so i'll paste it here now this is where we have to first of all check if the form has been submitted remember we are still making use of btn submit as we copied from the other side the name btn submit so here if the user has actually submitted the form we are going to obtain the title the author and the number of pages now remember there's one new one new element one new uh one new field that we are going to receive here which is the hidden input we have here which is the book id so we are going to also get it here and we have book id bk underscore id that's the name we gave it right remember we might not necessarily use this because it is still on the same page which we have already gotten the id initially from here but in case of a situation whereby we are trying to submit this form to another page when there is need for us to use this so as to actually get it from the form all right so now that this has happened what we are going to do is simple come down to this query here and change it instead of insert we now make use of update now we are no longer updating into rather we update books delete all this here update books set then we use set to update now what we are trying to update here now is the book title so book underscore title equal to in our quotes we have the sign title okay comma Okay, then um, we have a uh, book author. These are fields in our database. Okay, we are trying to update it with the records that we already got in here. Come on. Number of pages. There is now on the pages. Call to NOP. So these are just what we want to update. Now we are going to use the where clause. Remember, if you don't have a where clause, it means that I'm going to update the entire record in the database. So for me to be sure that I'm only updating one particular record, I'll use the where clause. Where book ID equal to color sign ek underscore id so now that we have now that we are done with this uh, we're going to execute the query here we execute the query so we're going to also make sure write an if statement find out if this query was executed successfully that is to be sure that you don't have any error in my sql query so i'll say if there is an exe then I may see if the query is okay. If if our query it is okay, then we are going to put our message in a variable. Let's give the message in a variable. A kind of a script alert just with alert message. 
cannot be put record of the test successfully. Record of the test successfully. This is because JavaScript has embedded as a string into a variable. Now, if this is not true, and it's the error statement, else if we have an error, we are going to also use our message to hold it. So we say, script and that. error in message. Say error. Then probably if you wish to see, to know for development purposes, it's not recommended for a public, uh, for, uh, it is not recommended to display the error message from your MySQL when you are publishing your website. But for development purposes, you may need to also echo out the MySQL message. You can say uh, uh, error, we could not, we are unable to, unable to update the report. Okay. Now, if we decide to echo this thing out, join it up with our, with our MySQL stuff. So, let us make it here. So, we can connect with our PHP MySQL underscore error. Okay, 
regular test successfully. So we'll go back. Uh, you see, so our code is working. So that is all for now on how to update uh, our database record. Thank you so much for watching. In my next video, I'll be telling you how you can upload images, store images in your PHP, in, in, your, in your local storage using PHP scripts. Thanks for watching. And if you love this video, please subscribe so that because I always be uploading videos like this all the time. Thank you once again for watching.